Thank you for watching our program about Portland as a model for sustainability. It's truly remarkable, Sherry, but as you know, this didn't just happen overnight. This took years of planning and some serious looks back at historical examples of community building. Next month, we'll focus our attention back to the future, so to speak, with a program on the Kathapoli Longhouse and Native traditions, this time with an emphasis on spirituality and reverence for the land. We'll see how the preservation of indigenous knowledge can help lead to more sustainable today. Next, we visit the salmon welcoming ceremony at Celilo Falls. This is an example of how tribes can band together, pool resources, and celebrate the coming of another fishing season. Native Americans are not the only indigenous culture we have the opportunity to learn from. When it comes to natural resources, in this case mushrooms, we dug up some knowledge that can yield some unexpected results. And of course, we'll get to sample those delectable delights when Eating Well shows us how to cook them up and eat them. Mm. As always, we'll bring it all together with another Hidden Connection segment with Jason Rashke. So tune in next month when we'll examine the preservation of indigenous knowledge at the Cathlipotle Longhouse. Don't forget to check out our website at sustainabletoday.org for more on these stories, helpful hints, and behind the scenes look from our production company. Thanks for watching and see you next month when we'll bring you more tools to be sustainable today. Mm -hmm.